guys. Everyone's clapping for the NHS. <laughs> Woo! Bar. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hi guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe, make sure you press on that bell. So you know when I next do a video. Today I feel like a hundred times better, but knowing that, I'll probably go on a few more hours and it'll probably feel awful again. It's not a pleasant thing to have. It's like an on and off kind of situation. So I have just emailed a consumer that I might want to do an unboxing video with. I'd like to ask and check and see if it's okay with them because like, some companies don't like it. And I don't know, are they posting it this time? I don't know. Guys, do you know what's really sad? My cousin put something on my, her Facebook the other day. She got, got her shopping online or something and the man that delivered her stuff was in tears where he got so much abuse from the panic of people that they're rubbing it all off on him. And I just think, ugh. I understand the panic. You've just got to keep being polite with everyone because unfortunately some people have got to work during these times. I thought I was going to have to work. You've got supermarket people that have got to work throughout these times. Pharmacists, doctors especially, nurses especially, anyone in the NHS, anyone in the police, anyone in the fire, they're still working. So you've got to kind of like be a bit more grateful, especially to the people that are driving around in this ridiculous time at the moment with people that are driving around these roads like absolute idiots and delivering food to very, very selfish, ungrateful people towards that person. Shut up. And they're not even earning a quarter of what you earn a lot of the time. So I just kind of advise you to just sit, just stay kind. Just stop being so rude. I'm just about to edit last week's vlog and put it up for this afternoon. So it's got to be up in, oh, I want to say like six hours. And also I need to do my TikTok. Yeah, my pig. Right now I'm watching a bit of True Geordie and I'm having a coffee, deciding what video to make today because I've got so many videos that I've like, gotten written down. So you guys have got something to watch. Even though I'm a small creator and no one really appreciates me, I think every individual should either post or say, text or call people to make them smile. Done a lot of TikToks lately, so make sure you follow my TikTok and I'm hoping I make someone smile. My agent has just got back to me saying that my TikToks are really funny. They basically put on their Insta story saying, give us some videos of what you're doing in this lockdown situation. So I sent them my TikTok and just said, hey, this is what I'm doing, which makes me happy. I like making people laugh. I've got a bit of an essential problem right now. I need petrol seriously badly. Badly. And with work, they said that I still need to stay at home until April, I think they said. Some schools have opened again, but only for like working people, like police and all that jazz. But I just want to say again how appreciative I am of the NHS, the police, not the Prime Minister. <laughs> and yeah, now I appreciate the teachers that are now coming out and actually risking their lives to teach these poor children where the other children are up. See, I don't understand this. There are a lot of children I've seen online that sounds so wrong. <laughs> but, like, them losing it, they've got to go back to school. Not only they've got to go back to school and learn useless stuff that they're not going to be using later on in life. Okay, fair enough. They want to be a doctor, whatever they use science, but I just don't understand why we have to learn so many subjects. And um, they've got to go back to school while there's a pandemic. And uh, there's a reason why the school's shut, because we're going through a pandemic. And um, the school's open for a certain amount of children. Then poor children must think, wow, my mum and dad must really hate me right now. I'm going to have to go back to work, which is going to be quite scary, because again, working with small children, they're not great with hygiene. They're not great with washing their hands. Little, little ones are gross. We've got to risk our lives, I'm afraid. And I'm just going to finish watching this and I'm just going to chillax a little bit, let the time pass by, let the grass grow a bit more, you know. Hello, good morning. I basically received a flyer um, in my door the other day about helping out if, uh, with people that are self-isolating. I was wondering if you needed any more people to do that. It's Thursday. I still sound fruity. <laughs> but this thing is a bastard. It's not really cough cough now. It's more like getting rid of the yuckiness, you know. Let's just turn on our bar. And oh! 
Oh, mate. This is what I've been using on my face lately with my brush. So we're gonna put that on the side of the bar. I have become a volunteer for the NHS. I'm going to leave the link down below. They really, really need you guys. Do they have any drivers to take food or supplies or medical supplies for people who are vulnerable? Also, they need people just to call lonely people that are stuck indoors at quarantine, that have lost their routine and, you know, a lot of elderly out there as well are lonely as well. So it doesn't hurt for you to apply for it and give someone a phone call. I'm just speaking to Katie now. She says she's feeling a lot better. And um, she just said she can't wait to get outside. So basically, she was feeling really rough and come to a point where she had to go to the hospital. But luckily, she's okay, she's fine, she's out now. She's feeling a lot better, but she's still on a lot of meds and stuff and she's still feeling quite rough. Do you know what, Kaylee's so funny. I'm a little bit worried because I'm going low in beauty supplies massively. I've made myself a list in ASOS, so when I get paid tonight, I'm at the ready and I'm gonna buy that sh because I know within weeks and days to come, that might not be able to happen, so. <laughs> We're just gonna have to make do with what we got now. That's all the time that I have left. It'd be nice just to have a little drive, a little drive around just to get my mind off of stuff. I'm only having one crystal with the bath for me today and that's cell night, which is quite cleansing. It's great for healing, it's great for refreshment. So we're gonna pop her down. So some people ask me on Instagram, the reason why that doesn't go inside the water is because cell night, Especially when you buy it in the, in the chunks like that, like one night shapes, they do mold quite easily and it's like glass, so once it sticks to your skin, ouchy. I only put in either soft rock quartz or just tumble stones into the bath. My videos, the last two have been a bit funny because when I did the healing bath video, I was so ill. I was so ill. I was so filled up with fever and that. That's why I couldn't do any talking into it or anything. That's why it was a very quick tutorial, like say two, early 2000s, because I couldn't even talk. I literally couldn't function. More videos, productive videos are coming back again. I literally haven't been feeling well enough to do reaction videos. I haven't been feeling well enough to do like other stuff like that. And it does take a lot of work to, <laughs> to edit them, especially when you've got iMovie. A lot of people don't understand how long it takes when you're on iMovie, believe me. So guys, comment down below which one you prefer. I'm either thinking of Filmora, because I've used Filmora before on my big laptop, and I actually got on with that. Because while we're stuck in here, I might as well wipe me ante and up me videos a little bit more. Um, if you can see, uh, it's still healing. So maybe I'm gonna be a bit makeup less for the next couple of videos. I hope you guys don't mind. I'll see you in a bit. Guys, everyone's clapping for the NHS. <laughs> Come on! Why my room looks like this it's being done up right now the whole uk have just gone out <laughs> and clapped with the nhs at 8 p.m i just wanted to make this quick message because my friend works in nhs and she's just called me distraught because <laughs> it's the fireworks going off no one knows what the nhs are going through right now i'm just so angry that like my friend and some of my family feel this way they're being overworked and nobody understands what they're going through being brave and risking their lives on the line to save lives and this is the least we can do just in case you don't close the vlog i'm gonna close it now anyway guys i love you and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to press on that bell so you know when i next do videos i've got so much content i'm doing whatever i can to make you guys laugh and smile just don't lose hope the nurses and doctors are going through more than what you can even imagine everyone that works on the nhs and just keep that in mind love you guys see you later